It seems speaking out as a communist in modern-day Ukraine has consequences. Вы сегодня все делаете для того, чтобы запугать людей, вы арестовываете людей, вы ведете и развязали борьбу против инакомыслия. Я считаю, прошуется перерва на 10 хвалин. In fact, anything communist has seemingly become free game. Beating elected deputies and burning party officers aside, Ukraine is in a difficult position, and emotions do get out of control. Вилучити Симоненка з зали для того, щоб ним тут і не воняло цим гнилим продажем ФСБшним агентом. Коли ти подонок виходиш сюди, коли ти розказуєш, як ми убиваємо людей, ви їх убиваєте. And here, masked supporters of the new government take out their frustrations on these stooped, old, and this Kiev would tell you, extremist communists. The Communist Party was soon banned and just to make sure that they are gone for good, a priest was invited to sprinkle holy water on the seats they sat on. Beset by civil war and economic collapse, the government has found a more pressing target, reinterpreting its Soviet history. Never mind that just a few years ago, more than two million Ukrainians democratically voted for the Communist Party. And outlawing the party is outlawing of the history, the symbols and the traditions. Uh, that's very extreme. We don't agree with that. We think that's a very wrong thing to do. It's censorship. But it's not all black and white. Millions lost their lives during a famine in the 1930s that affected southern regions of the Soviet Union, including Ukraine. And those scars run deep. So deep, in fact, that the Ukrainian insurgent army, which fought the Soviets and helped the Nazis kill thousands of Jews, has now been declared heroic. Slava Ukraine! Slava Ukraine! Morad Gazdiev, RT, from Donetsk in eastern Ukraine.